Hey YouTube and knife fans, so tonight's video I thought I'd do not only an update of where I'm up to on these new knives, but uh, a bit of a look back at where it kind of started. Uh, this was, this one hasn't been bead blasted, as you can see it's very shiny. Um, but this was kind of where it first started when I was doing the um, series of videos about recreating the screen used knife. And after finishing it I wasn't really convinced that I'd got it right and that's why I started modifying the profile a bit and um, came up with this thing which I thought was pretty close and then from there I tweaked it further uh, and came up with these two so so the thing that I was interesting about this was the blade and the spine are parallel and the clip pretty much extends um, it drops a little bit but it doesn't really drop like these three and what's interesting is there's a maker in Europe that makes a version of this knife and he pretty much makes it exactly the same as mine so I didn't um, it's kind of weird. I, I thought it was incorrect, but it, clearly it's not, or a version of it's um, not not incorrect, because this other maker has done exactly the same profile, just that he makes his bigger. Um, but I wanted to get closer to a screen used one, and something about these knives is they're actually supposed to be a bowie shape, so or buoy, however you want to pronounce that, and uh, that means that it actually swells out toward the the end to add a bit more weight at the top end um, it's only a small degree of taper um, these are all based on 1.5 degrees that's it um, could go out to two maybe degrees but um, yeah 1.5 was more than enough when you go to two and then beyond two it just kind of looks a bit um, a bit weird so um, So yeah, I went with that one. Um, what I did differently on this particular one was I shifted the whole teeth set forward one tooth, if that makes sense, one tooth spacing. So, but then I've corrected that on these ones. So I don't have my ruler on hand, but essentially it's a nine inch blade. And this point here on these two, and even on this one is your 4.5 inches where this 4.5 inches is actually at the back of the tooth so um, which then makes the the clip a little bit shorter on this one but slightly longer on these ones so um, I also when I started on the bevels I thought I actually oh no that's actually pretty close I thought I'd um, stuff that up this is supposed to extend back a bit further towards the teeth and yeah, I've taken that back to the bottom of the arc, bottom of the arc, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if there are errors on this one, I really don't care, it's, it's being built for me, so um, it's going to be my knife. So, but the, this other one, I want to try and get it as close to screen accurate as I can. And uh, so we'll grind this one first, and then we'll look at it and make any amendments or changes on this one. Uh, I've still got to fit the aluminium collars, all three of these, um, so that's my prototype, hollow handle knife, so as you've seen many times, you can unscrew that, and this is all fitted with a threaded construction, um, these ones are beasts man, because that thread, so same thing I cut the um, cap down today, on these two, and uh, this is all at like the tang, because, because this thing is so thick, um, the tang comes back to wherever it comes back to, and it's a thread each side. I took a photo, I might actually use it as my cover photo for this video, of um, a test fit, and man, it is just all metal. Um, that's not breaking, so... Um, Yeah, once again, 
just cut the thread down. I've got a bit wild on the uh, angle on the taper on this thing, but anyway, I don't have a lathe, so um, decided I'm keeping this one too because this is the heaviest knurled um, cap out of all of them, so I'm keeping that one for me. Uh, again, so all the handles are stainless steel. Um, I think it's 304, but it's pretty thick, man. It's 2.7 mil thick, and um, so it's not breaking. And then you've got 17 mil tang, and then threaded rod, M20 threaded rod um, on both sides. All M20 threaded coarse threads in all of these three. And uh, so the difference between these ones, the early ones, was this is this doesn't come off. This is an aluminium cap. The knife's got really good balance. Um, but yeah, aluminium cap doesn't unscrew and it's filled with tooling epoxy. So it won't break. Like you can hack into chop whatever you like with this thing. It won't break. If you do break it, man, you, you've obviously been um, using some pipe on the end of the handle. But I think you'd find the blade would break before the actual join would break. But I wanted to make something as robust as that, but in a hollow handle version. I th honestly think it, well, I know it can be done because other makers are doing it. And uh, I just wanted to add it to my knives because I think that um, it's, it's a super cool thing. And uh, it just takes my craftsmanship up a whole other a whole other level so um yeah it's definitely an addition now something that i have corrected you notice that this handle slightly offset slightly higher than it should be because when the guy welded the tang on he didn't center it and i was too late i didn't actually tell him to that it needed to come down a touch um in fact i didn't even really think about it so i missed that opportunity on this one but again this is my prototype and uh I will sell this thing at some point. I was not sure when. But these two are definitely production knives. So moving forward, everything's going to be done at this standard and this level. So, um, yeah, there it is, man. These things are heavy. Uh, net weight of this. Oh, that's something I did too. See how I've rounded that edge, that little bevel there? Um, screen news knives seem to have that. So um, I've decided I'll add that in and it's got to be done before you start beveling which is a bit weird but anyway and there is also a, a bit of a, a radius on the top of the clip but that would be better suited where the clip grind doesn't come all the way back so you see that square and square so with these ones that'll be when I do get an edge on it um, it'll be radius there you lose the radius at the top, but you kind of just get it just at the at the base of the of the um, tooth on that one. Um, I'm gonna take the angle in a bit more on these two, I think. So, uh, what I did like about this one, I'm not sure. I can't remember what angle I used. I think it was 14 degrees. And you notice I didn't take it all the way to the bottom of the teeth. I just think that looks really uber uber cool but these ones have gone to the bottom of the teeth and they'll have to stay there um, but I may just taper them in slightly increase that angle I'll need to increase the angle on this to get any sort of swedge happening even at that at like three mil um, that's that's uh, yeah quite a bit what a bit of meat up there still so I'll need to do that just to, even just to lighten it a bit. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. I've drawn in pen where I want my primary to come up to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grind it that far. I mean, at that angle, it may actually just come creep up that way. But damn, this steel's hard. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not an easy task. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.